Weaving traditions can be found in most of the ASEAN member countries, and Thailand is famous for silk, but it wouldn't be as popular as it is today if it wasn't for the country's queen circuit. Sakset Saya Sombat finds out that despite concerns about the future of the trade, sericulture, or the production of silk and rearing of silkworms, is alive and well in parts of Thailand's rural heartland. In this small pile of leaves is the foundation of one of the most revered handicrafts of Thailand. These little caterpillars, munching around the clock, are making the building blocks for Thai silk. But it's not until after three weeks or so that the process really begins. It all starts with these yellow little fuzzy fellas here. This is a cocoon, and just one of them can get you a thread out of as much as 800 meters. But they're so thin and so fine, you need a lot of them. And that's exactly what the ladies are doing here. They're boiling a lot of them in order to get these fine threads together so they can spin them into a yarn. Silk production has a long tradition in Thailand, but it wasn't until the middle of the 20th century that sericulture, or silk farming, saw larger support. Among its biggest champions is Thailand's Queen Sirikit, who has initiated several projects to promote silk production in rural areas, initially as an additional source of income. Silk fabric, whether worn as Thai traditional costumes on special occasions or in modern-day fashion, has since become one of the country's iconic crafts both here and around the world. But some are worried that the new generation is not carrying on the heritage, thinking it's not lucrative or just simply for old people. Still, efforts continue to keep the tradition alive. This small rural cooperative in Ban Angtoi in Cha Chong Sao province is one of several supported by the Queen Sericate Department of Sericulture. Altogether, these cooperatives count some 500 people in 10 provinces as members. มีสมาชิกในกลุ่มของวิสาหกิจชุมชนกลุ่มปูหมวนเลี้ยงใหม่บ้านอังเตยเนี่ยมีทั้งหมด 84 once all the yarn has been spun, it's being now hung out here to dry. Depending on the quality of the silk, it gets you a different price. This here, for example, has a much rougher feel. It gets you about $20 per kilogram. Now this one over here has a much finer thread, and it feels very different. It gets you about as much as $100 US dollars per kilogram. Thailand's silk industry has been estimated in recent years to be worth some 150 million US dollars annually. And as long as Thai silk has its customers as well as supporters, the craft will remain tightly woven into the cultural fabric of Thailand. Saksit Sarazombat, Channel News Asia, Cha Chang Sao Province.